and good morning. Welcome to the morning show with Kelly and Barbara. Salamat Hari Raya. We hope you've started off your public holiday nice and chill at 7.30 with the Get Active at First Light. We've got a half hour special. It's a Raya edition here today on the morning show with Kelly and Barbara. And then at 12 o'clock, you'll be going in your house uh, with Raj Kumar. Of course, not forgetting John and Duncan. I think they've got a little Hari Raya special as well for you tonight. Ah, exciting, exciting times. Now, a lot of you have been focusing on celebrating at home during this Raya season because obviously we can't go out and visit the masses like we are used to doing. But there are other celebrations that will be coming to your home as well. That's right. This National Day, I know a lot of people are asking questions about how are we going to do it, what's going to happen, and they have released how it will work. And I must admit, I'm quite excited for it as well. They're going to get the whole country involved, but on a more virtual aspect, of course. It's very exciting. I mean, we're going to have a morning segment an evening segment every household will receive <coughs> goodie packs uh, and if you want to you can actually be a part of the virtual choir we can actually submit ourselves singing songs to be a part of the entire show ourselves how cool is that I mean if my experience has anything to do with it I will not submit myself singing I don't think I should but you can yeah. um, the theme for this year's National Day is together a stronger Singapore so instead of it being this huge parade in one place it's now they're, they're breaking up the different parade segments to the heartlands That's right. so it's a smaller scale evening show but getting everyone in the different areas of the country it's to so all come cool. together from the comfort of your homes and the fact that we're still going to see the elements that we love you know the flag flying by we're also going to have our fighter jets the red lines they're going to be free falling into the heartlands for the first time ever so I'm super excited to see how that's all going to take place. And there will be flag raising ceremonies island wide so we can all do it together And you know what the best part is? What? Fireworks at lots of different locations yes. so that everybody <laughs> will be able to see it from the comfort of their own home. Or well, not everybody, but like as many people as possible because it'll be a little bit difficult to make sure that everybody can see it. And but you, you are also... Yes. A little bit... Yeah, excited about I this. I am yeah. very, very excited about this. Uh, you know what else I'm excited about? Brownies. Our giveaway today, that's <laughs> right. We've got uh, brownies and muffins because, let's face it, it's a little bit of a battle. Which do you pick? Brownies, muffins, brownies, muffins. The good guys from Sea Salty Bakes are sponsoring our giveaway today. The question is, what would you prefer? Muffins or brownies? I gotta go with brownies. Brownies oh. with a little bit of sea salt, some hazelnut in there, some Nutella. Wow, Nutella. you like them fancy. <laughs> uh, well, if you'd like to walk away with brownies and muffins so that you don't have to choose, all you got to do is like and share the Get Active TV page and make sure that you're sharing our stream on your page and just tell us, comment below, what do you like, muffins or brownies? There you go, easy peasy. We've got some great guests coming up today on this Harry Raya edition. I am going to pop off. I've got some preparation to do. That is right. So off you go. You oh. can go toddle along you... that way whilst we get our first kicking guest in now. straight. Yeah, I'm kicking you off. Oh, okay. I'm unceremoniously oh. kicking you off while I bring in our next guest, Wani Mizban, joining us on the first day of Hari Raya. Yeah. Hari Raya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can sit down. You can sit down. You can sit down. You can sit down. <laughs> so how's how's Raya been for you? Uh, it's very different, basically. It's just staying home, right? Um, Suddenly I'm emotional, jeez. Oh wow. Yeah. It's it's an emotional time though. I mean, coming to the end of the fast, you've spent a month reflecting, mm -hmm. um, sort of giving penance by, by giving up your food. And wow, you are really emotional, huh? Uh, yes. So, oh wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but well, thank you for spending and celebrating with us here on the show. Cool, this is like um, my Raya, Raya. I know, it's a nice Raya get up, right? Like very floral, very batik. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, like, I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, so what are we going to be stretching out today? Okay, so um, we're going to actually, okay, so usually for Hari Raya, what happens is that we're, we're going to actually go down on your knees and ask for forgif forgiveness basically to our elder elders. My words again. <laughs> It's okay, we'll it's, a it's a Monday thing, it's a Monday thing, yes. Yes, I can drink coffee finally. <laughs> Alright, so what happens at all um, is that we're going to actually be um, working on kneeling, but uh, I know quite a few people are having a little bit of pains in the back also. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to work through that. But of course, like the back issue is just a symptom. We're going to work through the hips, obviously. So 
Um, I think we should get off the chair. Off the chairs, okay. Onto the ground. Uh, ditch the high heels for a moment. There we go. Um, the first thing we're going to do is actually to lay down on your back. So okay. just to make your, your body comfortable, we're going to be moving your legs side to side, basically. Okay. So I'm not sure whether you can see me, so I'm just going to show you All right, now. You show me, you side show me to side first. first. I wish, okay. Right, so laying down on the ground, mm -hmm. okay, you're going to have your feet a little bit wider than your hips, and you bring your legs out to the side. Okay. Yeah. I think, so. I, can, I, think I can try and do that. Okay, yeah. so. Side to so side. So you're, yeah, you're going to allow your opposite hip to lift off and wow. then you get a stretch through your, your bum. Uh, I'm getting a nice crack in my back as oh, well. Oh, that's good. And then you'll feel your inner thighs kind of um, working also at the same time? Yep. Yeah. So you do a couple of this, maybe up to about a minute if you want to. Okay. And then we can actually do this seated. Okay. Because from the seating, we can actually open up the hips a little bit more. Okay. From here, mm -hmm. we're just going for hip twisters. Your hands can go behind yep. and you go side to side. You know what's interesting? We actually had Tiffany Teo, um, our MMA fighter yes. champion. She I came her, on I and she fight. said that this is one of the things that she does to prepare and mobilize her hips before Oh, there you fight. go. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to continue from here. We're going to come up, okay? So I'm going to start on my right first. Okay. So you're going to twist to the right. Okay. So actually, your hands are off. Oh, okay. And then from there, we're going to stand up onto your Ooh. knees. Then you open up your hips. Ah. And then you come back down and down. go to the other side. Other side. And then lift. And try not to bang Keep into your, a chair. Yeah. So twist, hips open. So you really get that opening through the hip yep. um, flexes. Um, and then you get basically a lot of mobility through the hips, through your... Oh, that was my hip cracking. Your knee. Yep. <laughs> yep. So that's also a good preparation for then, when you want to salam. Ah. Yeah, or you go here, right? There but you, you can go. only salam your, your closest um, family, immediate family members. Ah. So that hip gets you a little bit more opening through the hips. Lovely. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for that. I feel a lot more limber. Good. Uh, so, so just talk me quickly through your celebrations. Yeah. What are you going to be doing? Um, Zoom. Zoom. It's, just <laughs> it's just Zoom for now. We're just going to see family members through that. Uh, we've done it actually also during uh, the, pasa, the the Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So breaking fast just before breaking fast. And we're not eating and watching other people eat, right? Uh, but catching up with family uh, yep. through, through Zoom or uh, even FaceTime um, through, with friends. Because we've got people also around the world that you want to catch up with. So that's going to be nice and simple. Now yeah. I have to ask, uh, obviously now that you're not fasting, what's your favorite type of Raya goodies that you like to eat? Goodies. Uh, goodies. Actually, All the things that you can now eat. Actually, the, the, the thing that I really like is um, it's not a typical uh, Raya food. It's mm. actually the love lettuce. Oh. <laughs> that one I will really hit a lot. Really? And I'll finish the whole thing. Yeah, I've, I've spent a few rias at your place. Yeah. <laughs> your mum is an amazing cook and she always makes sure that we eat, overeat and then eat again. Yeah. Um, what, what are you looking forward to her from her cooking? What rendang. The rendang. Yeah, yeah. rendang is always like the thing that you want to look forward to. Although even though like having rendang on a normal day, uh, you can get it on a normal day, but having it during um, raya is different. And then the sayalo day. The, the thing about the thing about sayur lodeh though is really yeah. good. Yeah, no, no, the thing about um, Malay food, right? Especially for Hari Raya, there isn't actually a lot of like um, vegetables. So we got a lot of oily food. <laughs> and you got a lot of like um, meat. So much meat. You got chicken. You got um, beef. Um, and it could be fried and and just properly prepared. Mm. But um, watch out for the vegetables, guys. I've only got one house that will prepare salad for for us. <laughs> one house <laughs> but we have to do it ourselves now so then what would be your advice to people who during this high hurry ride period what would be your advice to maintaining and not overindulging <laughs> uh just remember that uh now that we're back to normal you can eat normally too you don't don't overindulge basically so mm. now that we don't actually get to visit people's houses um it is also all to your control because when i go to my grandma's house my, my grandma will always say like you gotta eat more that's not enough Mm. You're so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure you get that a lot. Well, Wani, Islamat Hari Rai. We're going to get you Thank back you. on in a short while. We're yeah. going to go for a quick break. We've got another guest, very special guest, coming right up. Don't go anywhere. This is The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara and Wani. There's no way can we compare ourselves to healthcare workers, to those hitting the streets, keeping people safe. But I think we serve a different purpose.
I hope that people can take away a fun new fact or something to help their physical or mental development at this point in time. Regardless of which industry you're from, we all face the same challenges. If all of us were to stay united and persevere till the end, I'm very sure we'll overcome the whole thing together. What we as entertainers are trying to do is to sound out to as much people as possible that there is every possibility to move to the next phase of the future with positivity in mind. We have a much leaner team than any other production that I've worked on. We're doing a lot with very little resources to ensure that we adhere to all of the rules and regulations. I feel like we're serving the needs of Singaporeans currently at home. We are entertaining them, we're giving them ideas, and we're trying to bring the outside world inside. That's something that we feel like the Singaporeans need, and if we don't do it, then who will? show with Kelly and Barbara on our Hari Raya special. That's right, and what's more special than having a very, very special guest with us on Zoom, we have the Minister of State, Ministry of National Development and Ministry of Manpower, Zaki Mohammed. Hello! Hey guys, how are you? Very, Hello. very good. Selamat Hari Raya. How good are you doing? You guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Selamat Hari to all our Muslim friends who are listening in as well. Amazing. So, what MOS, what have you been busy with during this circuit breaker period? Oh, well, you know, Hari Raya was just yesterday, so um, of course, you know, Hari Raya festivities over the weekend. But broadly, I think, you know, Singapore is facing our you know, COVID-19 pandemic. So we've been busy trying to work things out, you know, help helping to save jobs, uh, create employment, uh, opening up the economy. At the same time, as well managing the health issues, uh, trying to make sure that, you know, we don't have infections moving on. So. Um, as a whole, I think um, this is where we are working in overdrive at both the policy level, but at the same time, we know many Singaporeans too are affected, you know, in terms of jobs, um, income and so forth. So our work on the ground uh, is just as important as well to try to, you know, help people through. Got to say, we really do love your Zoom background. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say, like, <laughs> A for effort. I think yours is by far the best Zoom background we've had. Thank you. Um, so... A lot of people during this period have taken Circuit Breaker to really work on themselves uh, personally in terms of their fitness and their health. What about you, MOS? Mm -hmm. How have you been keeping fit at home during Circuit Breaker? Whoa, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm typically an outdoor person, so I, I, I love um, you know, going out, um, you know, being out there. Uh, but Circuit Breaker has been quite tough in the sense that you know, we are mostly at home or in office, you know, keeping... Uh, uh, you know, so 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 what, what I normally do when I travel is that I have an app that I use where you know you do some I don't know hit workouts. So that's that's why we do at home or plate as well. So in confined spaces and uh, workouts like those, I think help you know just to keep things active in the meantime. Actually, that's right. Otherwise, like we'll just hotel, up. Yeah. Hotel room workouts are probably the best workouts to be trying to do at this point, especially when we're in those small confined spaces. Uh, obviously, with oh, yes, the yes. Raya festive period as well, uh, food consumption, all the goodies mm. and all the snacks. Have you, have you, mm. decided, <laughs> have you decided to reach and dip into the <laughs> snacks or have you been a good boy? <laughs> well, you know, I would love to go for the snacks and the food. No, but this time around, there's no visiting allowed. So um, we've all been doing virtual what you call Zoom Hari Rayas for some. I know some have uh, also resorted to uh, pay now ang pao's too. <laughs> so, so, so it's all been a lot of virtual. So the good thing is that you know um, uh, there's there's less eating, less visiting, but you no, know, we're still meeting people online and wish, giving everyone uh, well wishes. You know. 
Amazing. No. So a, a little belly told us that um, you used to play sports in school and, and you've got a fair amount of experience when it comes to playing sports. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that, you know, what you used to play when you were in school. Well, that was like, uh, well, long, long time ago in the land, not too far away. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't I, be that I, long ago. I, I, <laughs> it, it, it was. So, so, so competitively, I used to play uh, rugby as a sport in school from you know, secondary school all the way to university. So it's, uh, it's, it's been, um, I, I think it's something I miss, but it's not something you can play um, you know, competitively at this age. So um, soccer is the other thing that I do socially since school, but not so competitive. But these days, you know, we, we do play even among parliamentarians, uh, among MPs too. So where we do um, soccer matches as, uh, for charity and uh, to try to also, you know, use it to do community bonding with um, different groups of people as well. Now, obviously, <clears throat> it's it's been tough for sports this year, right? I mean, we've had all <clears throat> of the professional leagues cancelled, Olympics oh, being yes. postponed. There was there was like we we just started with like the national school games at the start of the year, and then suddenly like we're going, oh no, it's it's it looks like it's still being delayed. Um, from like you're talking about the community perspective and how sport really brings people together, what do you think the impact yes. would be of Sort of all the NSG being cancelled and obviously our, our sporting leagues taking a back seat at the moment. I think it's tough <clears throat> for many. I mean, it's not just about um, the leagues going ahead. So if you look at what's happening in Europe today, they're playing matches, but no, no one in the stadiums. So the mood and atmosphere is totally different. But I think, you know, it's still a good consolation <laughs> that you have sports still ongoing, um, even in different situations. Otherwise, you know, you're watching a lot of replays on TV. <laughs> um, but yes. you know what? <laughs> but what? But what I tip, what, what I do empathize with uh, our sports coaches because as uh, you know, schools uh, you know uh, stop playing sports. You know, and of course, uh, competitive sports no go uh, suspended in the meantime. So you find that many of our coaches are indeed impacted. You know, not, nothing to do, not much to do. And um, I hope that you know, they're still keeping in touch with their students. But I know for PE, for example, some are doing virtual PEs too. So um, it's it's not easy for sport in the meantime, but I hope that the situation clears up soon, and uh, we can go back to normalcy. Otherwise, you find all of us coming back, you know, a lot rounder and <laughs> fuller. <laughs> well, what's been really interesting, we we were chatting with Nurul Sohaila, uh, the world champion for Silat, and she was telling us yes. that her coaches actually from the sports the singapore sports institute actually got her doing virtual sparring so they had pre-recorded segments of someone throwing a move so that then they would have to react oh. to it so that they and could, then they shuffle it yeah and then they shuffle it so that you never know what to expect which i thought was a really cool way of just bringing in technology and trying to keep our athletes still active and still mm. training in their various sports but obviously when we're at home we're, we're not professional athletes a lot of us are training to offset the food that we're eating yeah. um what are some of the <laughs> favorite foods that you miss during circuit breaker because obviously we're not we're not supposed to be going out and traipsing across the island to go and get our favorite mirabus or whatever so w what is it that you are missing well the good thing about food delivery is that you don't miss much you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you can order almost anything that you True. want um the, the 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 thing i miss most would be the experience you know um being out at the hawker center being out in a restaurant dining for example um, the experience is different when the food comes to you piping hot, no, as opposed to comes in delivered in a pack. So I think that's that's the experience that we missed, and I think uh, and I hope that this will uh, you know clear in months to come. Otherwise, um, we we'll all be eating packed food for some time, uh, <laughs> unless you've got a very great cook at home. I'd, or you could just hone your skills like Barbara's been doing in the kitchen. Or rather, Barbara's been trying to do uh. in the kitchen. There is a key word here. Have now, you been trying anything new during this circuit breaker period? I've been quite pampered because my wife cooks quite well. So Wow, you have uh, the same. She, she, my mom cooks really well. I mean, that's why, you know. <laughs> but, but what are some of the food things that you are looking forward to during this Hari Raya? Because, like... We've got a selection of kueis okay, here. Um, like I'm a big fan of onde onde and kue dada. Mm. Uh, what what are some of the uh -huh. ones that you're looking forward to? Oh, so for Raya, I what what I will miss is that the lontongs, the uh, sambal gorengs, um, 
ketupat, of course. And of course, some of the haraya cakes. I think those are really great. You know, my wife makes great food cakes of kuih kukos. So um, the good thing about working from home is that she's at home now and she's you know, playing around in the kitchen a lot more than usual. So that's, that's, a, that's a plus. But uh, certainly, you know, mum's cooking is something I miss and look forward to. Yeah, I can imagine. Like everyone has had to change the way they celebrate Raya this year. Um, and like you said, missing out on your mum's mm. cooking is something that's going to hit home. Uh, what, how, how, is, how is your celebration going to be different this year? Lots of Zoom calls? Well, that's that's what um, the, that, that's a trend we all see now. We are calling we are doing we're calling the Zoom Raya. <laughs> so you know, you you this year is less um, you know festive in the sense that you don't, normally you have bazaars before Raya. So you know all these big bazaars at Geylang and people turn turn up. You know you have a lot of uh, a different variety of food, um, clothes, and so forth. This year, I think you probably see less. You probably see less uh, people going out in colours, you know, baju kurongs. Uh, but I hope that that, listen, that hasn't uh, hampered festivities uh, in terms of the mood, the celebrations, and certainly the family gatherings that um, many of us are already looking for, uh, are, are, are in progress uh, or are looking forward to this, this few weeks. So I know, for example, um, last weekend, you know, my cousins had this uh, Zoom party going on. So there's a whole bunch of them who came on Zoom and they, they were partying together. And I know of others who, who were doing visits virtually as well to each other's homes. So these are ways in which you know people are finding creative, you know, creative ways to to celebrate during this 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 time. And as a member of the Muslim community, like, is there anything that you would like to say to this community to urge them on a, the best way to be celebrating this Hari Raya? Obviously, it's. It's hard, you it know, it's, yeah. it's very, very difficult. It's very different. Yes. And I think the temptation is always going to be there to be like, it's a killer, never mind, la. Like, 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 let's just, just go and go see mum, yeah. you know? But do you have anything to say to urge the community? Well, you know, this year will be a different Raya for many of us. And, uh, but I think what's important is that, you know, for us to celebrate, I think it's about showing love, showing... Um, our, you know, uh, not just love for the family, but love for the community, and uh, and and certainly, you know, after months long of uh, fasting for Ramadan, I know many are keen to you know go out there and and celebrate with families. But this time, I think if we if we think about it, and if you, especially our elders, if you love them, I think it's about also making sure that we practice safe distancing too, and limit our visits to them for their own uh, for their own safety too. So one of the things that we're always very concerned with COVID-19 is that, you know, elderly are always uh, more at risk. So therefore, visits are something we want to do and naturally do every year at Hari Raya. But this time, I hope that uh, we continue to practice safe distancing and ensure that we keep ourselves uh, healthy and safe always. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing all these insights with us. I think it's, it's great advice and hopefully everyone has a really, really nice Hari Raya as well. MOS, this is us wishing you Salamat Hari Raya. Hey. hey, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so thank much you. for joining us on the show. Guys, Best wishes to you too. We're going to go for a short break, but when we return, we've got a little surprise as we bring Wani back to celebrate Hari Raya just a little bit more on this Raya special of The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara. Don't go away. Ship sink. 
welcome back to the morning show with Kelly and Barbara and Wani. <laughs> we are currently blindfolded. <laughs> this is Used your by my own mask. Raya edition. So we thought we would end the show with a little bit of fun. We've been having our one minute challenges with different guests, making sure that everyone uh, gets different fun things to do in a minute. That's right. So this today. might take a little bit more of a minute. Um, <laughs> But we are going to do a blind taste test. That's right. So we've got an assortment of Raya goodies and kueh and everything. And Wani will have to eat her way through these plates and tell us what they are. Now, we're not going to mention what they are. Obviously, we can't give it away. But here's a little no, sneak I need peek help. into I need help. what she's going to be eating and hopefully Identifying. naming. Okay, so we're going to put these in front of you, Wani. Okay. We've got two plates in front of you. You want to okay. use your fingers or you want to use a fork? Uh, I think I'll use my fingers. Use okay, fingers. I can use feel fingers. the texture. Oh, oh, feel wow. the texture. Okay, cheat. Okay. Alrighty. All right, so okay. go forward a little bit. Uh -huh. yeah, there that's we go. The that's the first one. one. Okay. Yeah, it's coconut for what, sure. What do you feel? She's feeling coconut. You can just take a little bite. You don't have to have the whole thing. She's like, I want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> mm. Mm. What mm. do you taste? Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what kind of music <laughs> I just felt like we needed some suspense music going on. There's a nut in it. Uh -huh. um, Interesting. I think. <laughs> a bean. It's a bean. Do you know, okay. It's a bean. Do you know what it is? I don't know. You don't know? She's just gonna keep eating it. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. Okay, you have no idea. Mm. You know what? We don't actually know what this looks <laughs> called Wait. either. Wait. Do you know what it would look like? Um, this would be ubi, I think. Um, I'll possibly take it. be uh, tapioca. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay, next one. You can put that back down. One down. One, two, three, four to go. Okay. Okay. And further forward. forward. Forward a little more. Yeah. There. There yep. you go. That's the one. Now you this might not like want to... Onde onde. What? Are you sure? It's the only one that is circular and it's got coconut again. Okay, Let's well try, you can try. eat it because it's like sit up. We got all these oh, from Kim yeah. Chu. Good. Good. Confirm. Mm. Is it definitely onde onde? Mm. Yeah, mm. it's onde onde. Okay, the it's one onde onde. <laughs> Two down. The one that I definitely know the name to. Are you mm. just going to eat? You're also going to eat another one. <laughs> you just stole my food. <laughs> Where, okay. where, where am I going? To the left. To left. the left. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. Forward a little bit. Yeah. Just, yeah. This, that one. Could, yeah. Just the whole thing. Just the whole thing. Yep. There you go. Yep. Just a knee. Eh. It's a knee. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> multiples. Mm. Hmm. Um, I'm a personal fan of that one as well. This is like a bum, I think. No. Um, it's steamed. Is it steamed? Is it steamed? No. Uh, it's a uh, uh, ish. <laughs> Wait, I just bought them. I, <laughs> I don't know how they're made. Um, I don't know the name, but okay, I give you. It should be. Is it is it brown, or is it colorful? It's colorful. It's, no, it's, it's like um, it's yellow. It's yellow, huh? And it was all yellow. Okay. Um, no, no, okay. but I think it's up. Um, it's something three like three words. Three words. K, B, K. No. K for Kwe. Yeah. Okay. It's Kwe. B for... Don't know. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Ba, get, no, not the bang, keyword. Ba, ba. Oh, Kwe Yeah. Oh. Okay, we might have been saying it wrong. All right. Okay. <laughs> Next, last two. Last two. Uh, yeah, yeah, so further to the left. 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 Left, left, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, ah. I, I, I don't know the name, huh? but... Uh, this is like the easiest one. Jeez, I... I can't remember the name itself, but it's very yummy, it's very colourful, it's got different layers. Uh-huh. Okay, la, I think we can give that. It's, it's like kueh lapis, but it's like yeah. the kueh kueh kind. It's not like the cake kind. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Yeah. Mm. She's like, mm. 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 Okay, Sorry, very guys. good. You've got really one more to go. Oh, one more? Really? One yeah. more to go. But I want to finish this. Okay, you finish that one. Okay, yeah, right. so forward, forward, to the left. That, yeah. yeah. And then you can just take a good bite out of that one. Now, this one is my this personal favourite. I don't, once again, I don't know. It's you don't know the name? I don't know the name. I know the name of this. Even I know the name <laughs> of this one. <laughs> I'm very bad with names. Come on, come on, come on, just try but it. Yeah, there's coconut, coconut um, in it. Yep. Mm. Great job, job. Yay! Yay! I didn't remember. Good job, Bonnie. And with that, we are done. She got five. Thank you. <laughs> 
she can continue to muck on that whilst mm. we wrap it up for today. We've got a great lineup coming up tomorrow. Masks are going to be around for a while. We've got Grace Kerr coming in to talk about Hello Lunch Money with her dresses with deep pockets and how she's had to pivot to sati masks. And who else have we got? Alyssa Cow will also be joining us back in studio. She's awesome. got some solid stretches that she wants to talk about, which hopefully will help you at home. And that wraps us up for our special Raya edition of The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara and Wani. And Wani. Uh, <laughs> we will eating? see you around. Enjoy your celebrations here this Hari Raya. Remember, wherever you are celebrating, whatever you're doing, make sure that you stay safe, stay strong, and stay, stay at home. home.